And then you... Why are you here? Nah, like, why are you here? You know the video ain't start yet. Why are you here? You do this all the time. All the time. Why are you here? You know what? Dip. Yeah. Pull me up some rock, whoa. Fill it to the top, whoa. Getting bent seven days a week. That's a lot, whoa. New chain, that's a lot, whoa. Too trippy, get the mop, whoa. Counting money, bloopers only. Just know that's a lot, whoa. SKXPPY. Yo, yo, what is good? If you don't know, my name is Skippy, and welcome to another video. <laughs> so, in today's video, I'm gonna be stripping myself for all tools that I used to make beats like Omnisphere, Halftime, even Flint. And I'm gonna make a beat only using default sounds. Only. Just to see if your boy really kinda like that, you feel me? <laughs> even without the enhancers. So, in 3, 2, 1, let's get to it. I bet y'all, so now I'm at FL Studio, we about to get to the default beat, you feel me? I'm only allowed to use sounds that are in this pack right here that says packs with a little box, you feel me? Only allowed to use these, so let's get to it. So I like guitars, so I'm gonna go to guitar. Let's see. Cool, so this is the sound that I ended up going with. It's the pick hum six, um, regular sound, you feel me? Then I just went in, put in a simple little um, melody or whatever. Nothing too crazy. I went into the EQ, I mean, uh, I went into the mixer, throw in the EQ. I cut the lows until 200, and then I cut the highs until 5k. I threw in a phaser, I didn't do anything to it. Then I threw in two reverbs. The first one I made, um, what you call it? The first one I put on a little bit of delay. I made the room size smaller and then I upped the stereo. And then the second one I just left regular. And this is how it sounds. Nothing too crazy, pretty simple. All right, cool. So last thing with the first melody. So I forgot that I learned this new technique. Shouts out to 13 Tech. I'll put him somewhere in the video. Basically, what you want to do is you want to press um, Option A or Alt A. I have a Mac, so for me, it's um, Option. When you do that, it's going to give you this arpeggiator. What you got to do is mess with the time. And you saw how my, the loop looked last time. Now it's sliced up, and it sounds like this. No, it gives it some sturdier to stand on. Where? Alright, so the next sound that I got, I got a pad out the Legacy box, and it sounds like I feel like that's going wrong. Nice, nice little chord for background. I'm gonna put it an octave lower. So what I did to the pad was I threw on an EQ, basically um, EQ trapped this between uh, 450 hertz and 850 hertz and then I threw on a reverb, it was a very, well not a very wide, but it was a wide reverb with a lot of reverb on it and then also we got some separation on there and then this is how it sounds. Cool, so that's how that sound or all right cool so the next sound we got is this uh rose piano three sounds like this so you know what I mean? mm. Mm, that was terrible all right cool now this this loop sound is spicy right so basically, basically, what I did to that was, hold on, I laid it down a nice little pattern, you feel me? And then I added these um, after notes, like right here, just because I felt like it was too simple, so I needed some repeating. Um, then I went into EQ, I EQ'd it, I took out the lows all the way up to 400 hertz, and then I took out the highs down to 2,500 hertz. Then I threw on some chorus. I didn't do nothing to the chorus. I put on some distortion to match the main loop. I mean, the main um, melody. Um, I put the mix all the way up and I took the post basically almost all the way down. 
um, I throw in some reverb, a uh, little room size, no separation, and then I turn up the wetness a lot. And then it's how it sounds. Yeah, that's how it sounds now. All right, now what I'm about to do is I'm about to get on the drums. So of course we're gonna do the simple, easy stuff first. Ah uh, ah. Uh. Oh hold on, huh. almost went to the wrong drum kit. Where? Yeah, go down the packs, my boy. There we go. I'm use this one. I kind of like how that sound. Sound like rust. Yo, if you ever played rust, bro, this is definitely the sound of a rock hitting a barrel. <laughs> insider, insider. Where? Y'all know about that. All right, cool. So I got you know basic sounds loaded up into the drums. <laughs> I forgot the next dance. Next dance is simple. Um. Oh wait, that's the beat. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just hop in the mixer. I'm gonna mix everything up. Uh uh. I'm gonna play the beat, and you know you gonna like it. <laughs> and make sure to leave a like if you like, and if you don't, leave a comment down below to let me know how to grow. Like them things over there, you feel me? Or I hope by watching this video, you learn that you don't need the biggest and best thing to make a nice beat, you feel me? Sometimes the basics is all you need, Or SKX PPY